Hey, it's Tim here. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to tag stale or old content on Tableau Server and Tableau Online. Um, this is a new feature in 2020.3. You were previously able to look at stale content, but you weren't able to tag it and then take action on it. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do exactly that. And then at the very end, for admins out there, I'm gonna show you how to use the data management add-on to use the metadata API to basically query that stale content, find who the owners are, and find where those workbooks and projects are that contain these assets. Okay, let's get stuck in. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead to the bottom left here. Let me just show you where that is. I'm gonna go here to the site status icon. And if I click on the site status, you'll see that you get this list of dashboards that Tableau have pre-built into Tableau Online, or if you're using Tableau Server, Tableau Server. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the stale content report. This is just here at the bottom. So let's go ahead and look at that. And when we click on that, it takes a little while because fundamentally what's going on is Tableau is querying a Postgres database in real time. So it's actually requesting the data from the database. And for Tableau Online, um, that's actually shared across a lot of users. Now you see here that I don't have any style content. And the main reason is, is this is my test instance of Tableau Online. And so it's only me using it. And so a lot of the content is created by me fairly recently. And also I access it a lot because I've only got a few workbooks. If I go to the top right here, where you'll see this hamburger menu, this is called hamburger menus in, in, in design. Let's go ahead and click on that. You'll see that the filters are loaded. And the key thing here is the stale threshold that you can manually set. Let me just circle that for you here. You can see that it's right there and you can change that from 45 days to a value that better represents what you're looking at. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna set this to really low number because it's just me on the server. I think looking for stuff I haven't touched in the last two weeks is probably more realistic. And this is sort of the picture that you get. You actually tend to have this sort of proportion of stale content on Tableau Server. And the real reason stale content is an issue is because if people aren't looking at it, then it's potentially taking up resources and time in, in terms of uh, data refresh extracts. And it's also taking up a lot of space in terms of uh, storage space on your server. So ideally, you want to basically isolate the style content, look at the extract jobs that are set up uh, that you know connect to the style content, and then reach out to those people and say, and hey, listen, if you're not using this content, let's try and archive it and stop the extract refreshes so that they don't take up resources on your server. Now, previously, what you couldn't do is tag content in this view. And the key thing to notice here is that in the bottom right-hand side, let me just circle this for you, we have a new section and this is a really nice feature. Essentially what it allows you to do is if I select some content, so let's select the Volvo race. I'm gonna hold command because I'm on a Mac and Superstore data source, this regional workbook and a one more, um, let's select a couple more. So we've selected three or four bits of content. And um, what I could actually do is uh, deselect this one because you know it's tagging it for me here in, in terms of color. I've selected sort of the three items that I'd like to tag. And you'll see here on the right hand side that it's saying that I've got four workbooks selected and I haven't got anything else. Now, if I select a data source, let's go ahead and do that just for, for demo sake. Let's go ahead and select this one. You'll see that it says four workbooks and one data source. So now we're ready to tag the content. Let's go ahead and hit tag objects. And what it's done is it's set up the tags and you won't see anything change on this particular page. So what we need to do is go back to the explore page and find those tags. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go back to site status and go back to explore. Now, when you go to the explore menu, you're looking at both a mix of content. Sometimes it's projects, sometimes it's workbooks. If you click on this drop down here, you'll see the different types of contents you can see. Of course, flows are a new addition in the most recent releases of, of Tableau. But the key thing here is I have stale content across workbooks and data sources. So how do you find them? Well, let's go to the workbooks page. And on the right hand side, if you can't see this, you just need to click on this uh, little filter icon on the right hand side and you'll see this filter option open up. If I click on the tag section, you'll see that stale content is now there. Now. I've got three items here, and don't forget, these are just workbooks. So if I click on that stale content, you'll see that this is now narrowed down to just workbooks that are marked as stale. If I go back and I go to data sources, you'll see that the stale content tag remains, and I can still see my stale data source in this particular case. It's essentially a data source that's not been used uh, by anyone, if we were to assume that. So this is great, but the key thing is you typically want to act on this data. It's actually not a great interface here to, to be working with this. And so this is why I want to show you some of the powerful capability in the data management add-on 
where you're actually able to query the data using the metadata API. Now Tableau give you a basic interface to do this and you can find that here in this section here on the left called external assets. If I go ahead and click on that, you'll get this view which loads basically all the assets, uh, databases and files, workbooks, uh, anything that's on the Tableau server, all the metadata is held in this particular place. And on the very top right hand side, you'll see here that you can query the metadata. So this is the information about your data. Let's go ahead and click on that. And it opens this interface, which is called GraphQL. Now, the key thing to know about GraphQL is it's not intended to be an interface that you use for everyday use. It's just supposed to allow you to see what information you can get hold of. And it gives you a very basic interface to query information. If you look here on the left, you can see that it's already got a query built up. And this essentially shows you the structure of how this works. If I go ahead and hit run, you'll see that it loads all the workbooks and their names and their IDs and if they have any tags. And you can see here that I have the tag stale content available to me. What I'd like to do is actually query Tableau and ask it to only return me the workbooks and published data sources that are tagged as stale. So I'm gonna show you how to build this from, from scratch. If by any chance you're interested in learning more about this, if you just search um, uh, meta data API, uh, query on graph QL. I'm sort of adding everything under the sun here. Uh, it's actually graphic QL and it's Tableau. And this should get you the metadata API page here and you get the resources that you need. So you can actually look at this and see how to use the API to query your own data, how to structure the data, how to make use of that uh, using the REST API. Okay, so let's go back to Tableau and let's start actually building our own query. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this um, and just start from scratch. So the key thing you need to do is just basically open the tag. I'm just gonna try and increase the font here so we can get more on the page. And the key thing I'd like to do is actually start by looking for tags in the first place. So let's just go ahead and type tags. Now, if I just run this query now with nothing specified, it's just gonna return the ID of the only tag that we have in the data sources, because we only have the one tag for stale content. And you'll see that it's actually added the ID itself. The ID is useful if in case you wanna you know, add this to another data source where you can then query this back and, and reference it and match it. Now, the thing it's really missing is the name. So if I just hit and enter and uh, enter a new line, if I just type in name and then hit run again, you'll see that I now get the tag appropriately set. Now, this is great. And it's telling me we have a tag with style content, but we need to know the information that sits underneath it. So the great thing about this API is you can just add those uh, queries into your query. So let's type in workbook. And if I hit workbooks and just hit enter and run again, you'll see that it actually returns the three workbooks marked as stale content, which is great. So I'm now starting to see some information about each tag and the information that's held about them. I can query the workbooks information and ask for the name of the workbook. I can also ask what project it's in. And you can see it's auto completing this for me. I'm not having to sort of work too hard to know what these terms are. And if I hit run, you now get the different bits of information. Now, the other thing to note is that I'm only seeing three key assets here. I'm seeing this workbook here, this workbook here, and this one here. But we also have a published data source. So all I need to do is just enter a new line here and just type in published data sources, hit run again, and you'll see that it now returns one data source and it's added the ID there for me. So again, I can say name, owner, the great thing about this query is you can actually add more and more detail to this query as you go along. Bear in mind that it actually um, takes a little bit longer to do each query. So you don't want to go crazy and, and, and try and load every bit of information. You just need to basically query the exact thing you need. Go ahead and hit run. And there we go. We have a, a nice query that's now showing us all the data sources and workbooks that have been tagged as stale content. Now, if you had the API here, what you could then do is you could ping these users. You can add something like the email for this. Okay, so I'm not gonna uh, enter that because then you'll see my email, uh, but you could add the email for the users if you're working internally. And you can add a bit of other information, like you can add upstream data sources. So for if I, um, if I go back here and look at the published data sources here, we've got the ID, the name, the owner, but what I could do is say upstream workbooks if i can just find that option upstream tables i think i should actually know this is downstream sorry downstream workbooks so the data source is at the top and downstream is essentially 
from that point, what else uh, is going to be used? So the downstream workbooks is there. And then what we can do is we can again, open this up and we can say ID name. And you can see how this query now really starts to become really rich because I'm not just querying information. I'm actually adding lots of context and making this really, really flexible way of finding the information that I need. Okay, so just before we finish this video, there is one thing to note. I only had one tag on my tablet server, but if I had multiple tags, this tag uh, search here would actually return all the tags um, that I have. And if I just wanted this list, this isn't actually what I would get. Let me just show you what I mean. If I go back to online.tableau.com, essentially, if I go to any of these workbooks, let's say I go to Superstore here, let's tag this something else. I'll just call this something, okay? So save the tag. And now that's saved, the metadata API should update. So let's go ahead and run that. And you'll see here that there's this new tag here at the bottom. But if I don't want to return that, then what I need to do is actually add a filter to my metadata query over here on the left. So the way to do that is really simple. Um, essentially, if you just, if you just Google uh, graph QL query tableau, you will find example queries. And it actually shows you how to build these queries um, very, very easily. And if you go down, you can actually see how you, the filter notation works. So you, you bring the filter in and then you give it the object that you're filtering and then the thing you're searching within that object, if, if that makes sense. So if I go back to Tableau Online here, all I need to do is essentially just open up brackets, uh, type in filter. Of course, it auto completes, which makes things a little bit easier, okay? And then the thing I'm filtering is actually the name of the tag. So let's go ahead and enter that. So uh, in order to do this, I need to do more curly brackets and then hit name and then hit a colon. And then the thing I need to do is as a string, just enter the name of the thing I'm trying to filter from. So in this case, it's stale content. Okay, so there we go. We've added a filter to the tags. And what you should see when I run this now if I can actually spell content, is that uh, this bottom item here called something won't appear with any information connected to it. So let's go ahead and run that. And now you see that that disappears. And if I just zoom out so that it's easier to see that query change. So here it is with the filter. And if I just go ahead and grab this and remove it and then hit run, you can see that that something tag appears. So that's how you filter this. And if you're curious, there is actually documentation here on the right hand side. So um, if I just type in tag, for example, it shows me information and I can actually see what I can filter and, and work with here on the right hand side with an example of the format that should be used. But of course you can go to the Tableau Metadata API webpage and look at the sample queries that they have. And so I'll put a link to this in the description below and you can have a look at that for yourself. Okay, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the video. The metadata API, the ability to tag style content, the combination of those two things are a really useful feature. And it's something that everyone should be using to try and manage uh, sort of content that's just getting out of control on their Tableau Online or Tableau Server instances. If you've enjoyed the video, you know what to do. If not, let me know in the comments below. I'll catch you in the next video.